Hello crewmates, welcome to the classroom. Here we hold over 80 million super mean subscribers, and today we'll be discussing the legendary pirate captain, Usopp. Thank you so much for joining us as always. The crew of the future Pirate King has grown into a grand fleet of brave warriors of the sea, and not just that, these warriors are already some of the strongest degenerate pirates in the entire verse. We have Roronor Zoro, former pirate hunter turned king of hell, I don't know what kind of career path that is, problematic fave Blackleg Sanji, and the best protagonist to ever grace the pages of Shonen Jump or manga, period. The Straw Hats are shaping up to be the Grand Line equivalent of the 90s Bulls, but that doesn't mean that they don't have any... any Dickie Simpkins. <laughs> now that is not to say that Dickie did not have his simps, cause if you haven't caught on yet, Usopp is Dickie Simpkins. And god I love Usopp. Usopp is the fourth member to join the Straw Hats, the Sniper, and the first member to actually transfer over with solid pirating experience on his resume. Usopp is the protector of a little place in the East Blue called Syrup Village. With over 80 million pirates under his command, it's a little shocking that the Straw Hats didn't undergo a hostile takeover. Well, in a truly succession-esque manner, I think I haven't seen it. It turns out that this was all just a bluff. A lie that should have been made obvious the moment Usopp's Pinocchio nose bisected his eyes. And let me just say to all the Usopp haters, all you filthy little rats waiting to crawl out of the woodwork and assign him war straw hat and sentence him to walk the plank. I get it. Usopp is loud, at times obnoxious, usually holds up the characters around him with his cowardice, and above all, his thangs are hardly even thangin', at least pre-time skip where I'm at. This is probably a good time to mention my place in the Grand Line. I am currently in the sacred forests of Godland Skypea, but I think there is plenty reason to love the venerable, oh sorry, vulnerable Captain Usopp by that point. Hell, I mean, I think there was enough reason to love him all the way back in Syrup Village. So let's just start there, I guess. See, when Luffy met Zoro and Nami and subsequently put them through the Straw Hat Adoption Program, sailing the seas with this smelly child was actually not a bad option. Zoro was about to be executed, Nami was in between a rock and a hard place, but Usopp was just kinda living the chill life. It wasn't, like, awesome or anything, but he was safe, got to run around the forest, uh, shoot his slingshot, manipulate a small gang of children, lie to a woman, but for Usopp, the perennial child captain, this is something real, at least a little. You really understand just how much it means for him to be Captain Usopp. When he has to say goodbye to the Usopp pirates and officially disband them, it is very bittersweet. Of course we know that Usopp needs to go with Luffy and the crew, you know, become a brave warrior of the sea, further become a shonen character, but he is leaving behind something that matters to him, and that's kind of the first time we had seen that in the series. The Usopp pirates let Usopp feel like a pirate, obviously, but more than that it made him feel like his father. When Usopp was a child, his much hotter and cooler than he'll ever be dad, god that would suck, can you imagine? left Syrup Village to return to his life on the seas. And that would lead most people to assume we'd be meeting him as Admiral Usopp of the Marines, but no, because Usopp's mom expresses to him, even while she's laying sick and dying, that she couldn't be prouder of the man she loves for living his dream, and I think that's wonderful. Usopp decided he wanted to become a pirate when he was a little kid, just like Luffy, and a lot of people would say that he's still a little kid, just like Luffy. Usopp uses that slingshot because for him, becoming a pirate is an inherently carefree and childlike dream, which Oda loves to express time and time again. That is why it is so important that he uses that slingshot. It is the childish, carefree version of his father's guns, but we'll get into how he uses those slingshots later. Yeah, he shoots things. He proves to Clahador or Kuro or whichever that he is brave and he won't give up, 
but more than that, he proves it to himself. Usopp sets off with the Straw Hats, taking the Going Merry with him, and I only love his journey more from there. Hey folks, I wanted to stop in real quick to ask you to please like the video if you like the video, and during this commercial break, if you hear your heart longing to become a brave warrior of the sea, please consider subscribing and maybe even ringing the bell, and also, most importantly, please, please, please comment. I love having discussions with my audience, and that is why here we have a rule, and that rule is I will always reply to a commenter as long as they are not being a dick. That is the rule here. Thank you so much for listening, but let's get back to it. One aspect of Usopp that I just have to mention before I get into how he is or isn't in a fight is how he interacts with the rest of the crew. With Luffy and Zoro and to a lesser extent Sanji, he provides a reason to actually think through plans a bit more than make a beeline and do violence. With Chopper, he gets to be a big brother figure and have someone to gaslight, clearly a necessity for him. And with Robin, he gets not a ton of screen time so far. But my favorite relation on the ship has to be the friendship between himself and Nami. They laugh together, scream at each other, cry to each other over how insanely out of their depth they are, and are really, really important to me. I have never been the most manly man in the world. Why, just this morning I had my bowl of nails with soy oat strawberry milk. I've always been able to make friends with the women around me, so for me, Nami and Usopp represent something very important. The friendship between a somewhat jester-like man and a definitely evil woman. This is actually the basis of most of my friendships today. Especially because when it comes down to it, Nami is there to go to bat for Usopp, and Usopp is there to do the same for her. My favorite example of this has to be the flashback between the two of them when Usopp builds Nami the climb attack rod. Nami gets Usopp to build her a new weapon, free of charge of course, evil woman. However, Usopp stuffs the weapon full of bullshit, jester-like man. But when Nami asks Usopp to make it for her, they have a real heart to heart. Nami is willing to voice the reality of their situation, the same reality that Usopp will usually yell or scream as a joke, Nami says quietly and in earnest. Nami and Usopp are kinda horribly disadvantaged on the Straw Hats already. But on the Grand Line, oh my god how are you two alive? Of course though the climb attack rod works, Usopp pulls through for her, but just after pissing her off quite a bit. But now, since we've talked more about how Nami does in a fight with Usopp, I guess it's time for me to talk about action and power scaling, and uh, I'm not as good at this part. Due to how One Piece fights are usually structured, there's a certain pecking order to their quality. Luffy, of course, gets the creme de la creme, or croc, or krieg, and then Zoro gets the second in command, Sanji third, and so on and so forth. So, while Luffy fights Arlong, Usopp gets Chu, and I mean, I know I'm all the way back in Skypiea, but I can still explain to you what a mythical Zoan fruit is, so I'm well aware that Usopp doesn't have a lot of upward momentum in these Straw Hat Pirates. That being said, however, I have preferred Usopp's fights to Zoro's so far. Like all of them. I know that this may cause some power scaling fans to faster than light speed piss their pants, perhaps even shitting themselves to continental level, but hear me out. While Zoro's fights are usually more dramatic and so far have always been more well animated, I just don't care about him winning as much. Zoro is a literal Giga Chad meme who can carry 50% more sword than the average pirate. And only like half as many as Hachan, but whatever, Fishman Supremacy. I am very confident in Zoro's ability to handle whatever's thrown at him, but Usopp usually has like an 80% chance of dying at any given moment on the Grand Line. So when he pulls through and wins these fights, especially by using his own smarts or really believing in himself or both usually, 
it's a lot more personal to me as a somewhat jester-like man who doesn't have the most confidence all the time. The first time I really loved an Usopp fight was, to be fair, one of his first. It was when he was running from the handsome Squidward of the Arlong Pirates. Usopp, when his back is against the wall and he is really feeling that unconfidence of being the regular guy on the Straw Hats, commits a fucking war crime. The lovable Captain Usopp combines his Firestar ammunition with a bottle of sake and learns a new recipe for flash cooking fish that I will have to get from him. And I mean, this isn't like a dead rising level of improvised weaponry. I mean, we've all thrown whiskey into a fire and then had it almost run up the stream and explode in our hand. We've all done that. But for me, someone who already relates so much to who this guy is and his place on the crew, it's really important for me that I can point at the screen and go, hey, I could do that. At the end of the day, I guess why I really love Usopp so much is because, well, he's like me, I guess. He likes to joke around, cares deeply about his dream, and like I said earlier, evil woman, jester-like man. But those are the easy answers to give. It's the C-plus of why I love Usopp, so it's time to punch this up to rough draft levels. I love Usopp because when the chips are down, he can always grit his teeth and find some sort of way through. No matter how roughed up he'll get going through it, he can always buckle down and bear it, and then laugh and joke about it after. And I really hope that I can say the same about myself someday. I love Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, Robin, and Chopper. And I am 100% positive that I will love every other straw hat that joins the crew. But there's a very special place in my heart for God Usopp, and I just love him so so much thank you for listening to me talk about him but that is the video for this week y'all thank you so much for joining us i will see you next week goodbye hey y'all thank you so much as always for watching that video I just, I love Usopp so much. I've wanted to make a video on him for a while. I'm assuming that I will probably make multiple videos about Usopp over my career. But yeah, I just love the guy. I really wanted to talk about him today. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is going to be a pretty uh, quick segment of this part so far. I don't really have any like life or channel updates that you guys need to know about. I've got a lot of secret updates that you guys don't get to know about. But before I get into those which uh, I, I, I'm not gonna, uh, I wanted to do my collection part for this week. This is a PTSD radio. You might have seen it uh, behind me on my shelf there. It is a new horror manga from, ooh, I've not read this name aloud yet. Masaki Nakayama. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, it is a new horror series. It seems really good so far. I have not read it yet, but the cover, super funky and fun. They all kind of look like that. And my girlfriend really likes it, and she's a lot smarter than me, so I don't even know why you guys, like, watch me do this channel. You should watch my girlfriend do this channel. I'll see y'all next week. Goodbye.